Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Uh, people have asked me about tools I'm going to be using in my build, tools that I carry. I am uh, I carry way too many carpentry tools, but I, because I enjoy carpentry and I like to have them, I can loan them out, I can use them myself, uh, but I'm not much of a mechanic, so I carry pretty minimal mechanic tools, because I can't do much with them. I carry a pretty minimal amount of mechanics tools. Uh, what I carry is a Craftsman tool kit, which is probably what I would recommend for everyone. Just a basic Craftsman, uh, just a real basic Craftsman socket set. I do have a few um, a few wrenches, open box wrenches, and so on, but not a whole lot. I just I this is, uh, satisfies me. This is about all I need. I'm very pleased with it. I recommend um, uh, Craftsman mechanics tool sets very highly. So that's my socket set. And of course, you just have to have a whole bunch of little oddball tools. I find channel locks to be my most useful tool. Uh, this is a little pry bar I got at, um, at Harbor Freight, and I've used this probably more than any other tool I own. Little tiny micro screwdrivers with some bits. Uh, you know, this is just a basic tool that can do a million little jobs. This is an oddball tool. That's a uh, that's a uh, a file that I can get into holes and file, and I actually find myself using it fairly often. Steel screwdrivers. You got to have screwdrivers. I got an extra socket from an old set. Uh, that's one I use a lot, so I keep it around like that. More monkey wrenches. Uh, this is a cheap stripping tool from Walmart. Uh, you know, these are just tools that everyone should have. You, uh, you got to carry them. Needle nose, channel locks, more screwdrivers, a small needle nose to get into small areas. Uh, most of my electrical tools are in my electrical box. They're not in here. But mainly I'm going to talk today about my carpentry tools because I just finished this massive build out with, uh, with my van. And so that's what's on my mind. So, uh, and most of you probably are not carpenters and you, you probably don't carry many carpentry tools. Uh, I, I'm not a carpenter either, but I built a couple houses. I built a house in Alaska in a kind of a small cabin. Well, it wasn't a cabin, it was a 1600 foot square foot house. Uh, and I built a, and then later on I built a small cabin, not a log cabin, uh, stick, and, stick frame construction. Then I built it on a friend's, uh, friend's lot together with him. And, so I, and I build a number of decks, and I've done enough carpentry, I know my way around a hammer. So these are the tools I carry, and so if I have to uh, rebuild my van tomorrow, I wreck this van, and I gotta start all over, I have everything I need right here to build a new van. And so if you come to me and Bob and say, I gotta do a build, but I don't carry any carpentry tools, you also are welcome to use my carpentry tools as well. Uh, and so what I recommend everyone have are Ryobi cordless Tools. Now, some of you are going to say, well, Bob, the DeWalt is a far better tool than Milwaukee. And they are better tools. I'm not going to say this is as good as a DeWalt or a Milwaukee or a Makita. That's the other one. Uh, but it's a third of the price or less. This kit was $100. And, and for $100, I, I, this will last me the rest of my life easily. I will never wear it out. I'll never have to replace it. A regular homeowner like us, Nomad, you'll never wear these tools out. Buy this and it's the last set you'll ever buy. This carries, this is uses the new 18 volt lithium. One thing I love, this is Ryobi, it's only available at Home Depot. You gotta buy this at Home Depot. Uh, and they started out with 18 volt, the old style batteries, and they did something so good for the consumer. Bad for them, but good for the consumer. All the batteries are replaceable. So any old battery will go in right in this tool, and this will go in the new tool, in the old tool. And I just really like that. You do have to buy a different charger. The different chemistry requires a different charger. But I love these, and these, this great big, this thing will, it's four amp hours. If you know anything about amp hours, four amp hours is an awful lot. This tool will last me forever. It runs and works forever. I bet in the whole build, it took us a month to do the build. I charge this two or three times at most, and they just last and last. I am so delighted. I can't recommend enough that everybody, every nomad, carry a, a, a Ryobi drill and at least one or two batteries. 
Uh, I just am a huge fan of Ryobi tools. I carry a bunch of batteries. These came as a two pack and they're very expensive. They're a hundred bucks each, but I found a, a, a sale on a two pack. Uh, and you can see this is a two pack and a uh, hundred bucks for the two of them, $50 each, which is an outstanding price. So I bought a couple of them. I have a total of four of these four amp hour big batteries. This is the small one. You can see how small it is. With a drill, you got to have a certain number of bits. So I've got a Ryobi again. That's a Ryobi bit kit. I've been extremely pleased with it. I set up a uh, a quick change. This came with a kit, so that now that just uh, pops off, and the new one goes in, and it's locked in and isn't coming out. That's something I really like, and it comes with one of the kits I bought. And I just really like having that quick change. Love, love Ryobi stuff. Just for the price, you cannot possibly beat it. This, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. So you got to have some drill bits. This is also Ryobi uh, driver bit set. And I find myself using the, um, the sockets, drive sockets, a lot. Those are something I use all the time. Just a whole, just an assortment of, of bits, uh, tools that I really like. Don't take up much space. Let's see if we can get that out of there. So here's the other batteries. I have four of the big, big batteries. Uh, they were 50 bucks each, so they were expensive, but they're worth it to me. And uh, can I ever get this out of here? This is one of the crown jewels of what I love about Ryobi, is they have a 12 volt, uh, you see, that's a cigarette lighter plug. You could plug this in while you're driving. I've got plenty of solar. I can plug this in day or night and, and charge my batteries off, directly off 12 volt. No inverter, no worrying about if I need a pure sign. Will the inverter wreck my battery? It just goes straight in, goes into the socket. I really like that. I think this was 40, 50 bucks. I don't, none of their things are over 50 bucks hardly. So uh, I really like, like that. So great stuff. Uh, and then I bought this, these two tools as a kit. This is a skill saw. And it works really well. It cuts right through anything I've ever needed to cut through. These two, a charger, 110 volt charger, and one battery was a, they were on sale for $90. It's $100 is the normal price. $50 a tool plus the charger plus one battery. Uh, and that's the normal price is a hundred bucks for these tools. So you can afford these. You can afford to buy these. And uh, I just, I, you know, I can build almost anything anytime. You give me the time, I'll build you a house or a cabin with these tools. Uh, I'm just a huge fan of them. Love Ryobi tools. Uh, and one more tool that you'll see constantly in the build is the jigsaw. And so this again is the same thing. Uh, it takes the exact, you'll see us using this exact tool uh, numerous times. It takes the exact same battery and it works extremely well. We, you'll see us over and over again making cuts with these tools. Uh, you need um, bits, you need various bits. This is a bit kit, it's made by Bosch. Uh, I've been real pleased with it. And it pops open and you can see the different assortment of, of blades there. And uh, it's listed as, these are for metal, these are for wood, fast, slow, fine. Uh, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have a certain number of, of blades for your jigsaw. This is the charger that came with the original kit. It was free, it was part of the kit, $100, got me the, bat, the, the drill, the, uh, the skill saw, and this, and one battery. So I have a 110 and a 12 volt, because I wanted the 12 volt, I bought it separately. And this is uh, uh, also a Ryobi set that I've had for years. This was my original set, I've had it for a long, long time. And it's kind of a mess. But just an assortment of tools that I have found I use all the time. I use some big bits. I carry some big bits. Uh, I've lost, you know, over the years. I got more sockets. I got, I, that's just an accumulation. Okay. So next, I uh, this is something you're going to want to have. 
Uh, you're going to want to have a, uh, a speed square. I'm not exactly sure of the name of this thing. Swanson Speed Square, I think I've heard. At any rate, uh, this works extremely well, and it's something you're going to want to have. You'll see us using a, a knife a lot uh, to cut. Just you got to have to have a knife. These are, you know, universal. They're everywhere. The blades are universal. They're easy to work with. Anyone can use that. And of course, you got to have the tape measure of your choice. I like this one because it makes it marks it, and you're not going to be able to see that, I'm sure. It marks it in uh, eighths. So in between, it doesn't just say one and two, three, four inches. It actually marks the notch with eighths. So I went out of my way to buy this because I don't think in eighths. No. Finally, you're probably going to almost certainly want, if you're going to do a build, uh, this is uh, lap sealant. You'll see us using uh, Dicor lap sealant on the roof, on the cuts through the roof. This is the self-leveling. They make one that is not. If you're doing it on the side of the van, you don't want self-leveling because it'll drip down. It's not, it's, it's not stiff enough. But you just need a simple gun, and you know these things are two to five bucks, depends on where you're at. And something you'll see us use a lot is Super 3M Super 77 spray glue. Uh, another tool that I carry, which probably very few of you will, is a uh, square, a carpenter square. I'm not exactly sure what the real name of this is. You usually, usually you mainly use it for uh, making stairs and um, and roofs. That's where you do it for making the angles and the cuts and. But we use it a lot. You will, I don't know how much of it you'll see in the videos. I don't actually show us using that a lot. One of the things this is, it's square. This is going to be one of the very few things that is an absolute that is square. And you need to find square. The more square everything is, by far the easier your life is going to be. So if this was a, if I had this board and I had already cut the factory edge off, usually factory edges on lumber is square because they're using these huge machines and when they're done they're square but if you cut this so now if I had cut this and this was a leftover uh, it probably would not be square because I it's very hard to cut things perfectly square so I could find out by doing that you see and I can actually see you probably can't it's probably too far away that the end is not quite square this wasn't cut square uh, and I can see by seeing gaps that it was not. But if this were, say, a piece of plywood and I wanted to cut it square, then I would uh, put it like this. Here's the rest of the plywood laying on the on a table, and I would have the, hold this like that, and then this would be square because this 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 the square is square. I would draw a line, and I would know that was square. Uh, it's just a remarkably convenient handy tool. It goes under my bed. I don't know how much it weighs. It's not much. Uh, I love these things. It's super handy. You throw it under your bed and you, it ne will never bother you. It doesn't hardly weigh a thing. It's worth keeping. I'm glad I have it. I also have a long a six foot straight edge. It's also under my bed and I wasn't going to dig it out for you. So these are the tools I recommend. Mainly what I want you to get out of this is to go to Home Depot and buy a drill. You will, uh, if you, if you do any kind of handyman stuff at all, you will really be grateful for a drill. And I find the, uh, the uh, <clears throat> skill saw and the jigsaw to be invaluable. At any time, uh, if I need to build a new van, this one, I wrecked this one, I need to build a new van, these tools will get the job done. So, uh, I recommend these for you. That's the tools I carry. And of course I carry quite a few electrical tools and that will be for another video. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I hope you like this, uh, the video and like the channel, that you like us on YouTube and subscribe to the channel and never give up on your dreams. Follow your dreams, you can do it. Uh, even if you have no money and you can't accumulate tools like this, don't stop, you. don't let that stop you. Start hitting garage sales and pick up a socket set here and there and uh, an open box wrench set here and there and just, you can get them for next to nothing. You can do this. This is a life you can have and I, I can almost just guarantee it. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.